a lot of what it's big video is called Look in the Mirror. And what it has to do with is, um, you know, if we really look in the mirror at our behavior, uh, you know, if we look so cool, you know, sometimes we got to take time and uh, think about the things we say, the way we act. And um, you know, it's all about looking in the mirror. I'm going to read to you off a song by Jimi Hendrix. It's called Room Full of Mirrors. And it says, I used to live in a room full of mirrors. All I could see was me. While I take my spirit and I have smashed my mirrors, now the whole world is here for me to see. Also, attitude, you know. You know, sometimes, you know, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look, the things you look at change. And, um, you know, sometimes we're real good at pointing fingers at people, but remember, you know, when you point your finger at someone, there's three pointing back at, at yourself, you know? So, with that being said, I want to go into a couple scriptures here that talk about that. The first one's out of 2 Corinthians 4.16. That is why we never give up. Through our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. For our present troubles are small and they won't last very long. Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly overweighs them and will last forever. So don't look at the troubles we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on the things that cannot be seen. For the things that, can, that we see now will be gone, but the things we cannot see will last forever. And remember, you know, like, um, sometimes when we're, you know, when we're, when we're behaving badly or have a, um, the wrong mindset, you know, there's no reason why should we should be angry, why we should hold on to anger, um, be depressed, whatever, because, you know what I'm saying, God, God made us perfect, you know? And, yeah, we're going to run into things, uh, you know, in life. But, um, you know, we're, we're not intended to stay in those situations, you know what I'm saying? With our relationship with Christ, we can handle those things that we cannot handle ourselves over to Him. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to, we don't have to live with that, you know, and let, it, let us uh, drag us down. Or, you know, us that are in recovery, let those, you know, take us back out again. Ephesians. 2.10, for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Jesus Christ, in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things He has planned for us long ago. Amen. So with that being said, I'd like to say a word of prayer over this video. Father God, in Jesus' name I pray, Father God, for my brothers and sisters out there, for myself, Father God. For everyone out in recovery, Father God, Victory Outreach, Salvation Army, the Dream Center, Heart of Compassion. May our brothers out there that are in these homes, Father God, may they look in the mirror, Father God. May I look in the mirror, Father God, and change those things that aren't of God, those attitudes that aren't of God. You know, He, he made us to be a, a joyful. Uh, you know, we get caught up in these things of the street, in the drug world, and all these different uh, things that the world throws at us, and, you know, we get depressed, we get angry, and uh, those things aren't of you, Father God. So help us, Father God. Open our minds to be more receptive, be more Christ-like. I thank you for my salvation today, Father God, and I pray that this video may touch someone, Father God. Use me as your tool, Father God to reach someone out there, Father God, that might be able to see one of these videos, and, uh, you know, may, may they, a seed be planted, and may something click off in their head, that a change needs to be made. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. See you guys next time, God bless you all.